this is Dr. Garrick here. I'm outside presently looking at my studio, which I also consider to be my gallery as well. It's going to be my private space where I'll be doing my paintings, working on commissions and hopefully doing some live sessions on social media as well. The, the studio is progressing. It was just a shed and um, I had the vision to turn it into my studio. And we did the insulation and sheet rock, all that, all, all that nice, nice stuff. So let me take you inside so you can see. I'm presently inside. We are still working on the space, but I've just got um, some of the paintings installed on the wall, hung. The, the um, system here, the hanging system is very expensive. It's very expensive and... Um, but I'm delighted. Everything is hung beautifully. Of course, this is going to be my um, heater and air conditioner. It's a multi-unit. And you can see the space. That's my easel. It's still in progress, not completed yet. That's going to be the electrical panel and I'll be working on the side. There will be a gallery light and at least one, one bulb that would give me daylight, daylight um, resonance. So that when I'm painting, even at night, I'll be able to see the colors in their pure essence. If you look at the ceiling, the ceiling is nicely done. It has four Bluetooth speakers, one here and another one there. And of course, that's the other Bluetooth speaker and, and the other one built right into the ceiling. Of course, this is a gallery light. And uh, there is going to be another gallery light, which is in this box here. So I'm happy. Really, really, really happy with, uh, with the studio so far. It is necessary for me to have this. So in future, if... I have to do any television interview or they want to write any article on my work. They'll be able to come in and conduct the interview. But at the same time, they'll be able to see my paintings as they are displayed. All of these paintings are my private um, collections, really. Because, for instance, um, these two paintings I try, well, this one. Specifically, I traveled with this one from Sierra Leone in 1991, and I believe I did this painting in 1990, as you can see. Then when I came to the United States, I did this, this painting. But this one, um, when I did it in Sierra Leone, even the American ambassador wanted to buy this work, and I refused to sell it. And um, all these other paintings here, some of them were about the war, the civil war in Sierra Leone that lasted for 10 years in the 90s. And they articulated um, issues of war, you know, dealing with the victims, the, vic vic the victims. The victims, for me, we are a um, metaphor for hope, resistance, and res resilience. Resilience. So... But this is, this is the space so far. In another video, 
I'll take you guys through through the paintings. But this will be um when everything is done and and the studio is opened. Hopefully um people will have the luxury the luxury to come and visit if they are in New Jersey. And I'm planning sometime within the near future to open it formally and invite people to come and see. But I'm grateful. I'm really grateful for this space. I'm grateful for the fact that I'm from Sierra Leone. And even though the arts or the support for the arts has deteriorated, even when I was the, when I was in Sierra Leone, there wasn't much support for the arts. There wasn't much credence dedicated to the arts. But I knew I was born to be an artist. It was my divine passion. And I wanted to pursue it against all odds. So to come to the United States and not only have a degree in fine art, and I've had the opportunity to lecture in universities as well, both in fine art, te teaching fine art and graphic design, multimedia. But I also had the opportunity for over 20 years now to teach or impart knowledge in the arts in both graphic design and studio art. So to have my own space, which hopefully a couple years later down the road, if I'm not alive, my kids will be in charge of this because this is going to be part of the history of New Jersey, specifically Willingboro, Burlington, Bur Burlington County. It's quite a delight. I feel blessed. I feel blessed and I feel grateful, grateful to have uh, this space. I really love it. So, and we are still working on it. But I just want to give you guys a preview. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. And make sure you Google, Google my name if you don't know much about my work. Just Google Richmond Garrick or Dr. Richmond Garrick and obviously you'll see articles and television interviews that I've been lucky to have where I've actually talked about my work. Thank you very much. I'm a passionate educator or let me say I'm a dedicated educator and a passionate artist. A dedicated educator and a passionate artist. Thank you, and I hope you like the space.